Hi, I'm George Pell. I'm the Principal and Chief Strategy Officer for Intellio, an innovation and strategy firm. We're bringing a new era of biology-inspired intelligence to life. So the, taking the leading edges of biology together with AI and translating a higher resolution intelligence to medicine and all aspects of human potential. Intellio is the first of a series of new ventures, all highly ambitious, such as this one, that I'm launching through a bigger project called 36. 36 is an innovation studio. So from a strategy perspective, I wanted to share some thoughts around, some of my own thoughts around the intelligence that I'm uh, seeing from markets and markets and the uh, subject of uh, these crystal ball events coming up. I'm gonna share a little bit more about my context so you, so you could see what I mean about this through my lens. And that's actually my first point that I would share is in looking at these intelligence models, it, they've informed my thought process in some interesting ways. How that unfolds is going to be unique for each of us, depending on our, our role, our circumstances, where, where we're trying to go. So as you look at this, uh, do that for yourself. Figure out what lens or lenses that makes that this makes sense for you to view this information from. And uh, I'm using it more as a framework for myself. So I'll give you a little bit of context so, so that makes a little bit more sense. So back to Intellio. Intellio has a lot of complex ecosystems on the back end and on the front end. So let me explain that. On the back end, we're bringing uh, a num several domains of leading edge biology together. One of those domains is precision medicine. So precision medicine looks at all of the omics, looks at an individual's genome, how it's currently being transcribed and expressed up through their biology. So a, a more precise measure of what each individual's biology is truly doing in their current circumstances. So that by itself, that's a complex ecosystem that's rapidly evolving just on its own. Another uh, domain is uh, translational neuroscience. That's looking like looking into the eye of the storm for each individual. That's looking at all these complex systems that are cross talking together, like such as our neurobiology, our endocrine, our immune, um, all of the networks that are feeding into each other that ultimately shape nearly everything about us. Um, looking into the eye of the storm so we can see how perfect storms came to be and how potentially to unwind those. A third domain is systems microbiology. So this is a, a big leap from how we traditionally look at infectious disease, for example. Instead of looking at the presence of a microbe or not, or where it may be in what part of somebody's body, we really look at all the complex cascaded events around that. We look at the presence of a microbe anywhere it may be, but also all the bioactive products that it makes, uh, wherever those may be, and all of the cascaded effects of, of all those um, and how that changes a complex microbial environment for each individual. So if you look at all these three domains, I just threw a lot at you, but in the context of, of strategy, I, I kind of wanted to set that context. So each of these domains is a complex ecosystem, even on the back end, just to derive uh, this intelligence framework, this biology inspired intelligence that's like ultra high resolution for medicine and all aspects of human potential, just to get there before we even go to market, we have multiple complex ecosystems that are rapidly evolving. Uh, the uh, precision medicine uh, has many complex layers, uh, many players, and um, also many ramifications of that in real life from regulatory agencies, things going on in different countries, uh, the economics of that. Uh, it's highly complex. Uh, it's really getting out of the range, even for the most seasoned strategy execs. It's really getting out of the range of things that we can just conceptualize or pull our, our best analysts into a room and figure out how we're going to handle it. Each of the domains on the back end are like that. So that that's a complex endeavor right there. And then bringing what we're doing to market 
um, how that impacts our customers. So one of the topics that we're going to be talking about in these crystal balls, for example, is uh, what what is going to be the uh, major change in our revenue mix over the next five to ten years? What is within our our twenty maybe in our twenty percent of revenue today? It's going to be eighty percent of our revenue over the next five years. In my case, that's going to happen a lot faster. Um, I'll take and I and I face multiple markets, but. I'll give, it, give the example of medicine. So something that's cer certainly rapidly evolving in, in medicine is a shift towards a more deep intelligence, not just deep intelligence, but intelligence that is deep and wide. Instead of just looking at the traditional model within specialties and within a fairly narrow scope, and also at the more the top level of the biology where we're, at, we're seeing clinical presentations of something. Now we're looking at providing intelligence that has tens of thousands of more moving parts. So that paradigm shift is, is massive. How that ebbs and flows and evolves in real life is gonna be complex. How hospitals are, and healthcare is transforming more now than it ever has in all of history. Um, and that's, a regulatory that's uh, operationally, economically, um, globally, uh, how we're integrating science in very different ways, uh, pol politically. Um, there's there's a lot of aspects to this. So now I have uh, just kind of summing that up. You see my point just with this first venture, Intellio. Uh, it's a lot to wrap my head around on top of what I have to execute on. So these models for markets and markets are really pretty fascinating to me uh, with how they explain the cascaded effects of the markets in kind of in both directions. Everything that we do as it um, impacts our customers and then our customers' customers and the other way around, things that are happening that are feeding into our path as well. So yeah, that 20, the 20% 20 today, and I'm speaking to the industry of my, my ventures in this very early stages, but speaking to the industry, that 20% of revenue, is gonna be the 80% over the next uh, five years. I really think it's gonna be this convergence of AI and biology. I'll leave you with some, some suggestions before I, before I close off and, and thanks for listening or watching. Um, my suggestions for any of anyone else that's in a strategy role in this space where we're bringing emerging technologies, especially intelligent technologies or immersive technologies together with biology is really to make sure that you have multiple people that are looking at the systems perspective of what you're doing, not just laser focused on specific projects as critical as that is but people that could really look at are watching what I just kind of described, all the moving parts, like more like seeing multiple networks of things that involve all the economics of what you're doing, the, the, the science, the technology, the social impacts um, and all of that. So there's a lot of social engineering involved in everything that we're doing now too. So, well, anyway, I'll, I'll close there. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoy this series.